Hi, my name is Rhonda Jones and in this video I am going to be talking about what is Centering Prayer and how to practice it part one. And in part two we'll actually do a Centering Prayer meditation. Well first I'd like to give a brief introduction about myself. My name is Rhonda Jones and I am the creator of 23 Christ Centered uh, Guided Meditation CDs. And you can learn more about those on my website, thechristianmeditator.com. But today we're talking about centering prayer. But I want to start out uh, discussing the types of Christian meditation. Well, the first type is guided Christian meditation. And generally, these meditations begin with a progressive relaxation. They have a scriptural narrative, soft music playing in the background, and the narrator actually guides you through the meditation. The next type of Christian meditation is called mantra meditation. And that is a silent form of meditation where you repeat or silently repeat a mantra or a sacred word that brings your attention back every time your mind wanders off. And generally with a mantra, the word has some type of meaning. So if your word was peace, you would want to derive peace from your word or your word was abundance. You were focusing on abundance. So that's mantra meditation. The third type is meditating on the word. And in meditating on the word, you find a passage of scripture, read slowly through that passage, looking for a word, a phrase, or specific scripture that just jumps out at you and resonates in your heart. And then you just chew on that and you digest it and you ask questions about that scripture. You know, am I reflecting this in my life or how can I reflect this in my life? And just let that word penetrate and transform you. And then the third type that we're talking going to talk about today is centering prayer. And centering prayer is a silent form of prayer meditation where you silently repeat a sacred word in order to create a greater space for God. And it's similar to mantra meditation, but it's different in that the goal in centering prayer is to dwell and bring our full attention to the presence of God. So we're not so much focusing on our sacred word Although we use our sacred word to bring our attention back any time it wanders off. But our goal is just to be in God. Uh, author David Mikens in his book, 40 Days to a Closer Walk with God. And this is a great devotional centering prayer book. He says, with your sacred word, you state your intention to consent to God's presence in action and here is a great illustration I actually got this idea out of his book on giving your full attention to God and it's kind of like if you're having a great deep conversation with a good friend and you hear a noise outside like maybe a garbage truck and you might get up to go see what the commotion is but you come right back to your conversation with your friend and, and you're fully to be fully engaged in that conversation your sacred word helps you to bring your attention back to God when thoughts or distractions arise and selecting your sacred word well here are about 10 sacred words that I have used in the past one key is you want to keep your sacred word throughout the meditation. And some people pick a sacred word and they just keep it for years. One of the things that, that I do is when I read my prayer, I usually I'll pick my sacred word based on something in the prayer that I read that pricks my spirit. Now, sending prayer basics. Well, first of all, you want to have a quiet location where you're free from distraction. So it could be in your house. It could be outside. You want to sit in a, a straight back chair. So that your your spine is nice and straight. You can sit on the ground with your legs crossed. If you're flexible enough. 
but generally a chair is the most comfortable. You also want to have a timer or some type of timed music. And I have both. In part two, we'll do our, our meditation to time music. But your timer lets you know when to begin and end the meditation. And then again, you want to select your sacred word. Now here are the centering prayer steps. Well, generally, I start out with about five minutes of intro music, soft, tranquil music. And generally during the intro music, I'll say a prayer, read a prayer, or I'll read um, a psalms. And two great books that I use constantly are prayers from a planetary pilgrim and also psalms for praying. And these are wonderful. They're actually created for Christian meditation. And also during that that five minute inner loop of music, I will do about three to five deep breaths, taking in a deep breath, holding it for five seconds, and then releasing it again. Take a quick inventory of your body, releasing any tension or stress to relax. And then I'll have selected my sacred word, usually based on what I read from my prayer words. And then next part is to go into silence so when the music ends you go into silence and that is when you will focus on your sacred word anytime your mind wanders off you don't have to repeat the sacred word but whenever you catch your mind wandering off you bring yourself back to full attention to god by silently repeating your sacred word and then lastly i'll end the psalm in in the meditation with um, music and prayer and then here's some centering prayer do's and don'ts well first of all in order to get the greatest benefits you want to meditate daily at least once a day meditate for about 20 minutes next release all those thoughts you know sometimes during meditation you'll have wonderful wonderful thoughts but just let them go and come back to them after the meditation. And that's a good time to journal. You can journal after your meditation. Any thoughts or insights that came up. And just do embrace God's loving presence. And don't judge your meditation. Every meditation is a good meditation. And then please visit me for part two. And also check out my websites. Thechristianmeditator.com and detoxyourlife.com for more resources and programs on spiritual growth and Christ-centered meditation. Okay, thank you.